chị đang bán hàng trên Amazon, Skyrock cung cấp các dịch vụ dành cho các nhà bán hàng trên Amazon với mức giá cực kỳ ưu đãi như đăng ký brand với USBTO, từ Calum Pen, từ Jingle Scout, Logistics và Warehouse. Xem thêm thông tin chi tiết dưới phần mô tả nhé. Hi, it's Bradley, the director of training here at Helium 10. What would you do if I told you that we have a tool that could potentially pay your lifetime membership of Helium 10, a tool that has found up to $10,000 for some of our customers? Well, that tool is called Refund Genie. Let me show you exactly how to use Refund Genie now. All right, so here I am on the Refund Genie tab here in Helium 10. Um, on this actual Amazon account, I actually have two different uh, accounts that I'm tied to. So you'll get both reports right here. Okay, so this is going to give me a report, as you guys can see, every month for the lost and damaged items that you're trying to get some money back from Amazon on. All right, so let's just go in the style cash. It looks like that was the first month that we had um, um, Refund Genie run on this account. So I'm going to download these. All right. So this is what you're going to want to do. You're going to want to hit download. All right. Okay. And it said that there's instructions and I'm going to download this. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and unzip these files. All right. So this is opening up this downloads and let me go ahead and I'm in windows. All right. So I'm just going to extract all and I wanna show the files when it's extracted, all right? So let me just show you everything that this is going to have. And let me go ahead and do the other one as well for the uh, lost one. Again, extract all, and I just wanna see that tab. And there we go, okay. So let me exit out of those other windows. Here we go, okay? So now I am right here. Let's take a look at the loss, all right? There's instructions here. This, uh, this is gonna open up and it's gonna like explain to you uh, how to do it. Remember, don't submit more than five files at a time. Okay. Make sure to read all of this. Okay. Make sure to read this right here. Uh, don't, but it really important. Don't submit more than five files at a time or else Amazon might get a little bit upset. All right. So what I want to do right here is I want to look at the, uh, uh, this is just going to show me the law, the summary right here, just so I can get an idea of what's going on. So let me go ahead and open this summary up. All right, so it looks like there was two uh, SKUs and uh, there might be up to 31 items, all right, that was lost. Interesting, it's 31 items right here. So this is just gives me the, the kind of like broad overview, all right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go here. These are the actual files, okay? So these are the actual files. There's one per SKU. That other one was just showing me the, the kind of summary, all right? So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go into my seller central account. Um, I'm going to go under help. Okay. I'm going to go here to need more help, get support. And this might change, you know, this changes a lot. So, um, if you're, if you get lost here, you know, reach out to customer support, let us know if something changes. Amazon changes this, this method like a lot. All right. So hopefully what you're seeing is going to be the same. All right. Uh, I'm going to go down here and I'm going to do fulfilled by Amazon. And then I'm going to say here, inventory damaged or inventory lost in warehouse. All right. And now that opens it up here. Um, so what was I doing? I was doing the inventory lost. Okay. So I'm doing the inventory lost and let's go ahead and select this as the issue. Okay. Contact reason, investigate inventory lost in FBA warehouse. Uh, I'm just gonna write something here. You guys can, can say this in your own words and just say, uh, I was doing an audit on my account and noticed that these attached to FN SKUs had um, lost inventory that I have not been reimbursed for yet. Can you please ver verify and uh, issue the reimbursement? All right. You you guys can you know like say something different if you want. I would suggest like being overly, you know, nice and polite. So let me go ahead and throw in a thank you ever so or that's that's a little bit too over the top, guys. Thank you so much for your help. It is much appreciated. 
All right. So now I'm going to go down here and I am going, oh, there's too much information that it's giving me here. All right. All right. So down here, I'm going to hit add attachments. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and enter, I'll open up my lost. And right here is my lost folder. And I'm going to go ahead and one by one attach these. Okay. Whoops. There we go. There's one. And let's add one more. This one. And now I have two files and I'm going to tell them to go ahead and email me down here. All right. And that's it. I'm just going to hit send. And there I have a file that I have sent to them. All right. So we would do the same exact uh, system for the damaged ones. All right. So let's just go through that one more time. I'm going to go here and do help. I am going to go need more help and selling on Amazon and fulfillment by Amazon inventory damage or inventory lost. Let's go ahead and do the damaged one select issue. All right, so it's asking for the transaction ID. Now, I actually have that in the file, all right? So I'm gonna open up the Refund Genie uh, files I downloaded under Damaged, and I'm gonna hit Damaged, and let's just open up these one by one, all right? Let's start, I'll open up both of these actually at the same time. Or I'll just open it up one by one, Never mind. All right, let's open up one by one, okay? Now, right here, this is that transaction ID they're looking for, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and copy this transaction ID right here copy it and I'm going to go here and I'm going to paste it right here and I'm going to do check status and it's saying we need to further investigate this transaction ID please create a case to have a support associate review this issue so I'll create a case and we have created a case on your behalf we will email you within three days and there's the case all right need help with another issue yes as a matter of fact I do all right so let's enter in that other transaction let me go ahead and open that up here's that damage file let me open this up. Now there's actually two more here. Okay. So I'm going to uh, one by one do these transactions. Let's see. I've got three transactions here I want to do. So I would basically one by one do these. All right. Now there's a way around this. Um, if, if this was like kind of a pain, all right, what you could have done uh, if, if this is, is like, if you've got hundreds and hundreds of these like transaction IDs, you don't, you don't want to do it one by one. Here's what I suggest doing. Go back into your case log. All right. As long as you did the lost one. All right. So here is the one that was lost. All right. Or this first one, you did the first warehouse damage case or investigate here, either of these. All right. You can click here view and I'm going to reply again. And I'm going to say, uh, right here, uh, I could wait until they finish doing these, or since these are only two and I only have two more files, I can uh, ask them to, to check it at the same time. All right. So I'm going to say here, um, in addition, could you please check the attachment because these files or these products were damaged and I have not been reimbursed yet thank you so much so instead of doing everything one by one i can attach five more files right here so i'm going to go ahead and do that all right let's go to my damage folder and i'm going to hit here and the one that i uh, didn't do was this one so i'll just attach it and now i've attached a file and now I'm able to like have them look at hopefully all three of those at a time. So you have two different ways to do that. You can do it one by one by transaction ID, which will take you forever. Uh, if you only have one or two, that's fine. Or I could try and get around that little auto, that auto uh, page that it sent me where it's like making me do the transaction and I can just attach them as files in a reply to another case. And hopefully the Amazon rep will go ahead and give me a hand. So guys, I have heard people have gotten thousands and thousands of dollars back this way. Um, you know, you're not going to get rich on this, but Hey, um, this potentially could get me about $300 worth of refund. I'd be happy if it gave me 150, if it gave me half of what this is, you know, this is not a guarantee that you're going to get this amount back because Amazon sometimes will come up with an excuse and say, Oh no, 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 we're going to refund this already or whatever. And you got to kind of just like bear it, but I'm probably, I always, almost always get at least half of whatever, uh, 
Refund Genie finds me. So guys, make sure to run this as soon as you can, and then you will be able to see if Amazon owes you money. trên Amazon, Scarot cung cấp các dịch vụ dành cho các nhà bán hàng trên Amazon với mức giá cực kỳ ưu đãi. Vì đang hit brand với USBTO, từ Calumpen, từ Jingle Scout, Logistics và Warehouse. Xem thêm thông tin chi tiết dưới phần mô tả nhé.